Oh, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> um, is hello. anybody watching us? I'm not entirely sure now. Oh, <laughs> I think they might yeah. have abandoned us. Oh, uh, Mark and Lindsay are still. Hopefully, well, Mark they and Lindsay. They might have gone. Hopefully, Mark and Lindsay are still no, here. No, because it says no one's watching. Oh, so sorry, uh, everybody. Just finishing your dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there are five people watching now. Five is better than nothing. Thank you for that. Even though we're ten so, minutes late. Oh, no. oh. Terrible, terrible gremlins in the works. I don't know what happened to the time. It sort of randomly we, we, changed the date to the 5th of April at 3.30. Working, and we couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. And i tell you why it wasn't working. It's because for some reason, I don't know whether because we're in a different time zone now. Well, I don't know. It um, wasn't even, but it couldn't even have been a time zone because it changed the date and everything. It did. So it was the weirdest thing. It, like, like your laptop just went into some sort of hissy fit. And... <laughs> or maybe when I set it up, I didn't set the time up right. Maybe, Maybe that might have been the thing. Anyway, thank you very, very much for joining us, everybody. And, uh, oh, dear, oh, dear. We're live. We're live from uh, Bucharest on the Ama Magna. Bucharest in Romania. It's been a... the Ama Magna. It's been a crazy day. So we literally flew out to Bucharest <laughs> today. And we landed um, about three o'clock in, in Romanian time, which is about one o'clock lunchtime. And then it was about an hour and a half drive to reach the ship because the ship doesn't actually dock in Bucharest. It to docks in a in a town, at, well, about an hour and a half outside of Bucharest. So it does. We, we arrived onto the ship at 5.30 this afternoon and we literally had an hour to like unpack, get ourselves settled in, have a quick freshen up and get changed for dinner. And then it was the um, like talk, you know, the 6.30 work, work is muster. And welcome talk and cap and everything like that. And then straight after that, dinner. And then now we're joining you. So yeah, it's been a crazy day. Ooh. But we're here and it's um it's great to be here. Our suite is amazing. It is. And I, I did have a uh, I did have a secondary camera, camera B. Even that's disappeared, Helen. It's camera <laughs> B gone. I'm trying to get camera you like to B. Do your camera B don't I do you? like camera B, but obviously camera B is not working now. Oh, because I was gonna show you the room. Yeah, it's a lovely room. I mean, it's really unusual. You're on a river ship, but because it's that much wider, the the room itself is like, well, it's it's bigger than an ocean ship. You know, it's it's long. As you can see, we're sitting on a sofa. Our bed is over there. We've got an entrance hall mm. over there. Um, and this is a standard suite. It's not, you know, mm. there are there are some smaller rooms, but this is sort of the majority of the rooms are, are like this, aren't they? they um, are. I so think this is 355 a, square feet. Yeah, really, which we is, have uh, a little entrance hall and everything. It's lovely. I so. think the average river sh uh, ship room that we've been on has been about 200, 210, 20, something yeah. like that. This is 355. And like I say, if only I can get this. <laughs> Honestly, there's well, gremlins we will... all over the show tonight. And it's 10 o'clock to us, so it's quite late yeah, as well. It, so, like, um... it is. And uh, like Helen said, um, I, I'm on the water. Helen's on the mint tea. tea. Yes, I have my um, tea. Because uh, we've had <laughs> welcome drinks and we've had uh, dinner and all that sort of stuff. Mm. Let's, let's say hello to some people. Yes, let's so say hello to people who have persevered it... and joined us anyway, despite our it's, it's, gremlins. It's, so... worth, uh, it's worth saying hello to the people that stuck around because thank you so, so much. <laughs> oh, Richard's got a really annoying <coughs> cough at the moment as well. A really tickly, tickly cough. So, yes. And so... Uh, Apologies if I'm uh, if I'm really annoying after about ten minutes. I'm just going to put this because you've got your microphone. I on, have haven't got you? my microphone. Say hello on. to some people, darling. Yes. Yeah, so, um, hello, hello, Norfolk boy. No, we're just we haven't we're not just finished. well. We were just finishing our dinner. We did rush from dinner to back to our suite to um to join you all. But um, yeah, we've had I, a lovely I, dinner. I tell you what, as well, Norfolk boy. Just between us, Norfolk boys, of course. <laughs> um, we raced straight from the football from the football down to Heathrow. <laughs> Uh, with joy in our hearts. <laughs> yeah, Richard, Richard um, managed to go to the to the match yesterday to watch to get Norwich beat Ipswich. Yep. And then we dashed down to Heathrow yesterday. Any so. Ipswich fans out there, give us a wave. <laughs> we love you, really, honestly. I mean, you are doing better than us in the league, but uh, we, we, we had the spoils this season for, for local derbies. Anyway, Mark let's say Lindsay. hello to people. Yeah, Mark and um, have already said hello to Blue Rose says hi. Hi, Blue Rose. I'm going to have to keep going on and off with my glasses because... Uh, the print's quite small. Um, yeah. <laughs> I have got my glasses this time, though, so that's... Danny says, uh, Gremlins only come out after midnight. Um, <laughs> well, it's, it's always midnight somewhere, isn't it? <laughs> oh, <it's been> <coughs> I do... <laughs> I, 
I do have a really tickly cough. Oh, no. <coughs> Excuse me. It's oh, going to be really annoying. I, I don't know what it is. I had a cold about a week and a half ago, and I can't get rid of this stupid, stupid tickly Tom cough. Tom and Dom are here. Hi, yeah, Tom Tony's and Tony's here Dom. as well. Oh, I've just said that. Uh, HSC Pre is here. Hi. Thank you, everybody that's joined us, because actually... Um, most people have gone away by now because after waiting around for 10 minutes, uh, Tom and Dom are here. Yeah. Fabulous guys. I've already said hello to them. I know. Well, I just thought I'd put their little picture up there. Yes. Sounds so fun. please ask yeah. us some questions. Um, mm. If you have any questions about Amma Magna or about river cruising or about cruising in general, just um, ask mm. away. Like I say, we haven't been on board very long. We did manage to have a dash round after dinner so that we could we just familiarise ourselves with where everything is and what the ship's got so mm. that if anybody had any questions we we might be able to answer them for you we will be obviously be doing a sweet tour and a yep. ship tour and um an experience review as well while we're on here so there will be lots more content but if you've got any questions on the Amamagna or river cruising anything like that or any other cruising please just ask if you could just put queue or question in front of it so that we can identify them and then hopefully we'll be able to um answer them for you well, indeed, just a little technical issue here from Danny says, does the stream keep freezing for everyone else or is it just me? Um, I'll tell you why, uh, Dan or maybe the reason, Danny, is that I am streaming tethered to my phone, which currently says 5G, um, because it's actually quicker uh, than the, the Wi-Fi at the moment. So um, we're keeping our fingers crossed that everything still goes to plan. It's showing two yeah, bars on there, 5G. We, we have, there is Wi-Fi on the ship, and the Wi-Fi is quite good, but we are actually due to move in any minute over to the other side of the river and about a couple of kilometres down. So we're actually switching from Romania to Bulgaria um, in a little while. So we thought we'd be safer to stream it on 5G. But um, Absolutely. apologies if it's not the best stream we've ever had. I know, but, but we, do, we do try and keep to our schedule and we're trying to, obviously, wherever we are in the world, try and keep to our schedule and uh, do what we can. So, But please let us know if you're having any issues with the stream and we'll, we'll um, see what we can do. Cruising so. guys are here thinking, good evening, uh, gents. Uh, nice to see you here. Thank you very much for joining us. And uh, who else have we got here? Oh, Beth and David say hi. Hi, Beth and David. Hope you're well and keep going give us a thumbs up if you uh do like to do that um danny's just a quick football one norwich doing annoyingly well i know danny <laughs> i'd rather be annoyingly well coventry fan here uh did beat leeds but you're still ahead of us oh, that's a really good shout i actually. know we coventry didn't we didn't leeds. have the best start to the season so um um it's nice to see us finally doing well so. it is indeed it is and uh lost the shore good evening lost the shore Nice to see you on here. Um, I walked across Amazon after last week. <laughs> and Presumably she to get to another ship. Absolutely. I can't remember where Lost Shore was last week. She was, we just um, we literally just walked through um, the reception and they had up on the, on a big screen in reception where all the Amma ships were in, okay. in, in Europe, didn't they? They we, did, yes. Amma Magna is obviously sort of the furthest away in Bucharest. And we've only been on Amma Christina before in Provence. So we Provence. can see her. But I don't know where Amma Sonata was. So... Um, yeah, I'm not sure where where that one would have been. But presumably... thank you guys. So they, well, the questions are coming in, and actually, when you, you would talk about Amma, just briefly, shall we? While we let the yeah. questions build up a little bit, um, we got picked up from the airport, didn't we? Yeah. Beautiful black Mercedes. Yeah. Sort of van. Th oh, it was beautiful, wasn't it? It's like yeah, a seven seater. There was um, a few other people on our yeah. the same flight as us that were joining the ship, so that there was, was nice. five in our thing. But the thing about this is, they they say it's Bucharest to Budapest, but actually we're on a actually about an hour and a half outside yeah. of Bucharest. So Bucharest is not on the river, uh, on the Danube, um, but it is far out. And tomorrow we've got a uh, quite a long day because we're going to do Bucharest, which is a sort of walking tour, is it? Not yeah, we're going to do a city. It's sort of like a panoramic and walking tour. So a bit of a drive around the city and then a walking walk tour around the old tour. And hmm. I think we've got lunch somewhere and everything. So it's a, it's a long day. It's like a nine hour excursion tomorrow. So, it is indeed. But, um, you know, we hummed and hard about doing it, but we, we haven't had the opportunity to stay. We did think we might stay in Bucharest the night, but... Um, timing wise it just didn't work mm. out so we are going to go back in to drive all the way back to Bucharest tomorrow um, and have a look around and when we the driver because it was Sunday today when mm -hmm. he drove us here he was great he did actually he could have driven us around the ring road but he didn't he drove us through the city center um, and it was okay and it, the city looks amazing there's some beautiful um, architecture and things so we are going to go and um, have a look at Bucharest tomorrow and see what see what Bucharest has got to offer. So that would be nice, even though it's going to be 
um, an hour and a half, probably two hours drive each way. Well, we've got the question here. What port are you visiting? Okay. You, right, that's, that's a good test for you. That is a very <laughs> good question. This is my <laughs> domain because Richard never has a clue where we are. I'm surprised he even knows we're in Bucharest, really. No, I'm, not, him, I'm but, not very good. Um, we are, so we're in Bucharest. Um, well, we're in a little town called Gheorghiu, which I say is in Romania. Romania. So we're crossing tonight over to Raus, which is in um, Bulgaria. So there is a tour going off to a city in Bulgaria tomorrow. Well, I say it's a city. I think it's an ancient city. But that's a long tour as well. Then we are going to a place called Bidin. Mm -hmm. um, and then along to Belgrade and Novi Sad, which is really good because Novi Sad is... Twin with Norwich. Norwich, so is, apparently. that would be nice. So we have on we our sign be... as we drive into Norwich, it says Twin with Novi Sad. So we're keen to see whether it says Twin with Norwich. We, we were Nova, Nova happy. To... <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. No, I can't. I can't make jokes like that. So, yeah, so We'd Nova... be very Nova happy to be there. Novi Sad, Belgrade. Um, and then a couple of, I can't remember where else, a couple of little places. And then we end up in Budapest. So we're Indeed. finishing up in Budapest. So yeah, it's quite. So good. hopefully that answers your questions. Did you did you mention the Iron Gates? Because I was fiddling with the five. I chip. didn't mention the Iron Gates. Uh, no, no. Th see that's the most sort of uh, that's the highlight of this part of the cruise. We cruise through what's called the Iron Gates, which is like the rock formations either side of the river. It gets quite narrow, and then you've got these huge faces carved into the rocks. Yeah. Which is a very historic thing, apparently. So, so uh, so that's that. Yeah. So, so yeah. yes, Victoria, that's where we're going. I think uh, it's a pretty action-packed um, <coughs> um, cruise. I think there's, you know, there's not much. Well, obviously we've got a sail down the river, but I think I don't know whether we're going to do a lot of sailing in the evenings or I don't know. It I don't looks, know. No, we're just going to have to sort of wing it. I think it and looks see what pretty action-packed. So, so uh, but hello, George from uh, Portugal. Wow, we love. Portugal, don't we? Mm -hmm. It was our we first one with cruise was on the Douro. It I was. was thinking about that today. Fantastic. It was our absolute first one. So <coughs> so like... Oh gosh, this is going wrong, Helen. My no, right. take me away. T oh, onto the Amma Magna. <laughs> oh, we're here. Ma Matt Spacey says, "Great videos posted this week. Thank you, Matt." Oh, did you notice we posted one earlier today, which was a bit of a disaster again because I posted it from the airport, <laughs> so I wasn't I wasn't in our normal thing. So there's no links on the end or anything like that. I must remember to do that, Helen. But it's part two part of two. our Holland America cruise around New Zealand. So that finishes off all of our New Zealand content, really, which is about time because it was a year ago that we were there. Well, um, a year ago. But yeah. But we had a year's worth of content. <laughs> that's yeah. the problem. Um, but yeah, that's the second part, second and final part of yes. our Holland America, which was out earlier today. So um, please yeah. do pick that up if you can, because it, it, we had a lot of fun. We did there, have a lot of fun there, and hopefully we put a lot of fun into the video. There's kayaking, and yeah. there's there's hobbits, hobbits, and there's <laughs> uh, my precious. Yeah, and no, that's you, darling. But also there was the there was Gollum. We had a really uh, not that you're Gollum. It's mostly North Island. There is a little bit of South Island in there as well. So yeah, but, but it, it is a, a good really, one. It's a nice. We, yeah, we, like we, that, don't we, we enjoyed all the things we did. So. And indeed, indeed. So yeah, if you haven't seen that, then please go please and watch do. that after you finish this. Uh, yes. Okay. Another okay. Question. So uh, Tom and Dom right, ask, uh, what down. are the passenger areas like compared to a normal size river ship? Well, they are different, you say, because you, you. Well, I, I've done some research. Okay. Obviously, for the intro for the ship tour, so uh, it's um. Twice as wide as an, an ordinary river ship. Okay? And you notice that the moment you step on, mm. don't you? And it's twice as wide, same length, twice as wide, but only 20% more passengers yeah. than a standard river ship. I'm going to cough again, sorry. Yeah, so <coughs> it, it does seem very open and i mean the suite the you know the rooms generally are much oh, this room as well. is, is fantastic you know, if only from, i could get camera b working i'd show you this is this incredible is for a river river cruise ship because they normally the rooms are so tiny you're sort of like you have to make an appointment to pass each exactly. other exactly <laughs> i would all, i'd also spin the uh, i'd spin the laptop around but it's plugged in and the lead is at absolute tension <laughs> So if I try to show you the room, no, it's not going to work. Well, we'll do a room tour, but the public areas, the, the it's lounge It's been bad is, planning, Helen, all the way through. The, Sorry. Lounge, the lounge is ni <laughs> nice. It's nice because it's yeah. wider. I Everything mean, it, is wide. It's just wider. Fabulous. We, we did pop up to the top deck this evening after dinner, but it was dark. But that's I think that's where you see it like most, isn't it? Because mm. there's a pickleball court. There's like a proper pool. I mean, it's not really... 
you know, you probably couldn't do more than about four strokes. You'd be one one end to the other. But there's a proper pool with a separate like hot tub mm -hmm. and, and a proper walking, you know, really nice walking track and lots of room up on the top deck. So that's where you really notice it, isn't it? Mm. Um, and there's obviously four restaurants on here, which is also very unusual for a river cruise. There's normally only one, maybe two restaurants. It is indeed. But we've got four restaurants. So I've just yeah. literally booked before we before I do this, I came and managed to book in all the um, three sort of speciality restaurants. Mm -hmm. They're all included in your fare, but you do have to reserve for those ones. Um, whereas the main dining room you can go to any night. So, yeah. So that we... answers sweet nature's questions as well. Oh, What's sorry. What's your first impression of the ship? <laughs> first yeah. thing, well, actually, in summary, the first impression of the ship is, uh, if you don't want to listen to Helen for 10 minutes. Um... <laughs> Sorry, Dave. Sorry, I get uh, excited. Fabulous. I mean, actually, we were remember we we were really impressed with Anna Christina. Not um, well, apart from the ship itself, the cleanliness of the ship, and that they just keep it utterly spotless. It's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. How clean, the, just the 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 nooks and crannies are. It's just exceptionally clean. And uh, if cleanliness is your thing. Amma is the cruise line for you. It, it's a weird, I would say, first impressions, it's, it's slightly weird because it's unlike any other river cruise mm. that you've done. You know, normally when you step on a river cruise, they all have a very similar feel, whereas this feels a bit like an ocean cruise ship. But It does. It's, it is yeah, great. We it, haven't actually left dock yet. But... No, but it feels like, you know, the interiors feel a bit like <coughs> an ocean ship because the suite is designed in the same way as an mm. ocean ship it's you know it's long and thin so we've mm. got the bed down one end and then you know it feels like an ocean cruise ship suite doesn't it and then yeah it does it does feel a bit strange but hopefully after a week we'll be able to answer that question in a bit more detail yes but yeah it seems it seems lovely it's very well appointed. Mm. And First impressions, yeah, really, really good. Food um, is good as well. We, we know it's not full, it's not sailing full, so it should, it'll be a little bit quieter than maybe on a full day. I would say there's probably, hundred. I think it's 192 is the capacity. There's a good 150 on board, I would imagine. Yeah, and the, we just had our first meal and it was it was lovely. It was really nice, um, you know, five course meal, really nice. There was, there was a half a dozen or so tables for two in the restaurant as well, which is really nice. Because mm. often we find on river cruise ships, there's not many tables or no tables for two. So, well, actually, really nice. <laughs> that's Mark and Lindsay's question again. <laughs> so, um, I'm predicting what I haven't even got my coffee. <coughs> I haven't got my glasses on. Oh, gosh, I hope my, my cough is not driving viewers away because uh, we yes. need to try. If not, I, they... I, I, I've got no way to mute my microphone, by the way. So, maybe I can put my thumb over the top. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to say there's a spare bedroom for you to sleep in tonight. Are no, there are. We, we, we said, didn't we? It's not capacity. They have to move me in go. and oh, I tell you, It's so <laughs> annoying. Particularly cool. Yes, there are. There's. I mean, we found a little table for two. They're really nice little tables, actually, mm. weren't they? Sort of not window side, but they were like on almost, bench. Yeah, they little were like cubic, almost like cubicles. Yeah, little they? cubicles. They were actually really cute tables mm. for two. And there was three along the side that we sat, and I presume there's three along the other side mm. as well. So there are, and there were also um, quite a lot of tables for four with two people sitting at them because. Like Richard said, I don't think the ship is full and there's other restaurants. So there was the option to eat um, mm. on your own, which mm. is great. Because especially on the first night when you're tired and you don't necessarily... Yeah, and we made the point with the Viking long ships that there is no table for two in the main dining room. So you have to either... I, I, if the ship's not full, you can find a table for four and then just the two of you sit on it. But they, they encourage you to sit with others. Yeah. Um, but, but no, there were some nice, cute little tables for two. Hang on, here we go. Oh, <coughs> it's going to drive me mad tonight, honestly. It's only going to be a short one tonight anyway, because we started late, so 45 minutes. I hope you can... Uh... There may never be a, <coughs> another one after this. Oh, dear. <laughs> you know, live on air, how can I? Uh, Victoria's come back and said, uh, we were in Linz at the time, so ah. Amazon Sonata must have been waltzing the Danube. Oh, ah, okay. We're the other side of the Danube. Yes, yeah, that's we've the been upper. Linz, we? Yeah, that's the upper Danube. So hmm. I think... I think this um, the Emma Magna does um, upper and lower oh. Danube, doesn't it? So um, obviously in the upper Danube last week, and I think some people are, have been on for longer, so have already maybe done a week and are now doing the lower Danube. So <laughs> please keep those questions coming in because um, there's some rather strange ones. Like my throat's actually getting worse because I'm talking more. <laughs> so. Um, 
We'll do another. <laughs> so have I got to talk? Probably. <laughs> and then you'll say I talk all the time. <laughs> anyway, right, look at that question. one. Hold on, I'm going to have to get my glasses on. <coughs> We've only been on scenic and biking. What's the most <coughs> luxurious river cruise line you sailed on? Thank you. Okay, well, we've done scenic and we've done biking. Scenic is very luxurious. Yep. I would say probably more so than biking. Mm -hmm. um, I think for us... And we've done Emerald and we've done this. Yeah, we've done we've... Emerald. And we've done... Well, and, well, and Uniworld. And Uniworld, obviously. yeah. We really love, we love Uniworld. Mm. So um, we've only done one AMA like which said in Provence on the Ara Christina, mm. we've done a few um, Uniworld. Of all the river cruises, they I would say they're the most luxurious. Mm. Um, but we'll let you know at the end of this week what I we think, think of first, this one. I, I think Amma is up there. Yeah. Definitely up there with Scenic as well. So... Uh... Yeah, we enjoyed Scenic, didn't <clears> we? But I think um, for us... Um, we just like the quirkiness of Uniworld. We like the way that all the ships mm. are individually designed mm. and um, we just really like them. And I think they, for us, they have that edge on scenic. So um, if you get the chance to try Uniworld, then thoroughly recommend mm. it. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, just on my voice, <laughs> could have been <laughs> yeah. Cow Road, not entirely sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, you, you oh, old you farm were... Derby nearly killed him. Yeah. <laughs> exactly Honestly, I'm not kidding right. you. It was mayhem down there. I think you're right. Okay, mayhem. you went with our eldest son, and they both came back croaking. So I know, I but think, I did um... really tickly, which is like really, really annoying. So, Maybe and I know it was... it's annoying for you guys as well. So, I do apologise. Maybe it was too much shouting at the football yesterday. Oh. That sort of serves you right, doesn't <clears> it? <throat> So, I'm not going to let them go anymore. Sixty-four thousand dollars question: Norwich get promoted or never cruise again? <laughs> Norwich get promoted or never cruise again. No, I think Norwich get promoted and never, and cruise, never cruise, again, cruise again or cruise again. Or cruise again and Norwich don't get promoted. Well, I know which one I'd choose. <laughs> Norwich can stay where oh, they are. Uh, I'll stay very <laughs> quiet about that one. Uh, I'm going to... Oh, this is an interesting question. Please keep your questions coming in. I know we're sort of on a bit of a strange one tonight because uh, this is the quietest you'll ever hear me. Yes. That's good. <laughs> good. <laughs> Helen, read the question, right. please, Glasses darling. back on. Sorry, I have to put my glasses on because the screen when we're away is a little bit smaller than when we're at home. Our waterways is now sailing to Colombia. Wow. Which is interesting and a first. Columbia. What's your favourite river port so far? Thank you. What oh, river we didn't is in know Columbia? that. We didn't know that. No, what Columbia? What river is in Colombia? Oh. My goodness. Interesting. I know that Uniworld do um, uh, Amazon and Peru river cruise, which is a one that we're very interested interested yeah, but I in never doing. Thought Columbia. but yeah Colombia I don't know oh. I, I didn't know that so um I don't know but what's our favorite river port so far our favorite river port well immediately springs to mind um Vienna and Budapest yeah and Porto Porto yeah they're the three Paris is quite nice I suppose yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Well, we big. were only there for a couple of nights, mm. weren't we? We didn't do a proper sailing, and it, yeah. Um, um, I, uh, one, one that wouldn't be my favourite would be uh, Kolkata in India, uh, simply because of its size and uh, but overall, it's rather India, unconventional. Yeah, but overall, the Indian cruise was quite. Was it was quite amazing. Incredible. It was amazing, but it wasn't my favourite port. Uh, one, another one that we found quite interesting was Bordeaux as well. Mm. We quite enjoyed Bordeaux. I mean, Bordeaux, Bordeaux as a is city beautiful. is beautiful. Yeah. Um, so that's another interesting one. Although the rivers. Bordeaux is beautiful. Yeah, it's a strange river, and you sort of dot about on the river doing that cruise. Um, but it, again, it's quite an interesting one, and the. the Lots of wine tasting, <laughs> which is always a good thing. So that's lovely. My Bordeaux, one. yes. Actually, I would I would recommend Bordeaux if you're going to do a. Oh, it's a beautiful city. Yeah, Actually, it is a beautiful. nice one. It's slightly it's slightly different to sort of the rest of the river cruises. So um, mm. it's quite nice. It, like I say, the actual river itself. You know, when you're sailing down the Douro or the Danube, you know, there's lots of beautiful scenery. Um, not so much with Bordeaux, but you do stop in some really unusual mm. places, and some really, and Bordeaux itself is beautiful. Mm. And that's right. Yeah, it's just a nice. It's a different cruise, isn't it? It is indeed. It is. Um, we're going to move away from river cruising just okay. for a short while. Good idea. But please do get the uh, you know the questions. Keep them coming in, please, because uh, 
because it's Helen's night tonight. <laughs> and <laughs> It's just going to be all me talking. Well, I, I'm, I'm trying. I'm sort of being very calm because if I get excited, it makes my throat tickle and uh, <laughs> then I find it quite difficult. Okay, uh, glasses yeah, on again. This is a really small one, sorry. Yeah, I'm going to put my glasses on From the on again. cruising gaze. Sorry, guys, I have to lean in and put my glasses on because it's very tiny on our small <laughs> laptop screen. Yeah. Um, thank you for your fab ocean view cabin tour on Coral Princess. Ooh, you're very welcome. We've booked the same cruise Ooh. for Christmas next year. Mm. What a find. Same cabin, though. Same cabin, cabin. sorry, yeah, sorry. Um, what was your favourite thing about the ship? Wow. Oh, we loved the Coral Princess. Do you know what? I, I yeah. I would just say before I cough again, um, you won't regret that room. That, that was that was beautiful. Yeah, it was a lovely room. It's a, it's a it was a genius idea to take those large windows and make cabins out of them because um, oh, it's just it's like having a, a pat, it's just like having like a patio door you can't open basically. Yeah, it? no, it was a lovely room. And it was pull a the curtains back. And... Really small corridor, so and it was mm. sort of a little bit hidden, so yeah. no one really knew you were there, but. Literally, you could like come out of your door and into the international yeah. cafe and get a coffee. So, like every morning, I'd just like, you know, go through in my dressing gown and get a coffee from the guys in the international cafe and go back to the room. And it was great. Yeah, um, you'll love it. You'll it's love a it. lovely, lovely ship. It's a beautiful size. It's one of those, you know, there's not many ships left of that size, are there? No, you know, no, certainly not the Princess Fleet. Yeah, 2,000 passengers, really mm. nice size. The crew are lovely. Um, it's just got. It's just a really homely ship. It's hmm. just a really, yeah. It is. I mean, it's the sort of size ship that we love, and it's got the sort of hallmarks of princess, which is lovely. Um, and sort of going back to sort of traditional hmm. cruising, where most of the dining is done in the hmm. main dining room. We got um, to know people really well when we were on there, didn't we? The, yeah. The crew. And we always had the same, you know, they always gave us the same table at dinner, yeah. which was really <laughs> nice. So you got to know your waiters and. Um, you know, the shows are sort of classic shows. And, yeah, it's just a oh, really... What I would do, top tip, okay, what we normally do when we get on board a princess ship, we go straight to the sanctuary and book either individual days, sea days, or the whole cruise. And we normally end up booking the whole cruise, to be honest, because uh, we like to dip in and out of the sanctuary. The sanctuary on the coral is really nice it's at the back. If you get there really early, as soon as you get on there, you can choose your... 5G. Okay, are we still oh, and there? I don't know because um can't see any. Oh, hello, some... hello. Oh, yeah. Are you still with us? <laughs> oh my goodness. I uh I think we're up and running again. We have streaming issues as you know if you've been watching this from the beginning. And um I hope you're all in here because we've lost all the comments as well, yes. which is really annoying. So if you did put a question up, please could you just put it up again because we've lost all the comments and <laughs> we've all the questions. All the we've questions. lost the whole stream. Of oh, oh, oh here they are. They're back. They're back. They're back. They're back. They're back. They're back. Don't worry. They're, they're back. back. Don't None panic, Mr. Mannering. Don't panic, Mr. Mannering. Don't panic. There. Don't panic. There. Don't panic. There's only four people watching, though. <laughs> <laughs> we've just don't got panic, a five. We've just got a five. Don't panic. Question. Don't panic. <laughs> right. Uh, let's, let's do some got, questions. You've shall? got to be a certain age to understand the don't panic, Mr. Mannering. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, right. Okay. Where are we up to? Um, 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 um. Uh, it was, um, oh gosh, uh, someone asked. What's your next cruise? Oh, okay. I so, think I saw that down there. Oh, was it? Okay. I think it might have been. What is your We next are definitely cruise? moving now. I can feel some movement. Oh, really? Ship. Okay. Um, what's our next cruise? We'll, get, well, we've got to finish this one first. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll finish oh, there this you go. One. Tony's question. That's it. <laughs> yes. Hi, Tony. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll finish this. We've got a week on here. So back um, next weekend. Then we're home for a couple of weeks. And then after that, very, very exciting is we are on the maiden voyage of Queen Anne. So can't wait for that one. So keep an eye out for that one as well. So I'm not sure we'll be able to do a live from there because the internet connection on um, Cunard is not usually brilliant, but we'll try anyway. But yeah, we're really looking forward to Queen Anne is, yeah. our, next, is our next one. So <laughs> are we back? Yeah, I think we're, I think we're back. <laughs> You're reading Honestly, the... no, no, no. I'm just, re I'm, 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 I'm welling up. <laughs> but people have stuck with me. Despite it all. I'm, I'm welling up, but it could be the tickly throat that's making me well up. I'm not entirely sure. We're going to try and get through some questions because they've popped back up again. Thank you very much. For Tom those Dom. haven't cruised with how, do you have any top tips? Top yes, go. Tips, yeah, go. <laughs> how, I, we, we really like how. We like how. 
it's a bit like, I'll tell you what it's like, it's a bit like Cunard, but a little bit more laid back, and um, there, there's a lot more music. Yeah, it's a bit bit less formal than Cunard, so a bit more mm. Americanized than oh. Cunard, which is obviously very British, um, and... Yeah, oh, it's, just, there's just something about it. It's just so we, nice. We really love the Nordam. Again, we have very fond um, sort of feelings towards the Nordam mm. because it's a bit like the Coal Princess. It's that size ship. So, well, it's like a Queen Victoria, Queen Queen Elizabeth, but also um, Holland America haven't sort of succumbed to the going for the me mega super jumbo ships. I think their Pinnacle class ships are lovely. Uh, they might have three and a half thousand, three and a half thousand or two thousand. I can't remember now. They don't seem that big because they are based on like a Vista class. They're like Vista class on steroids. Here, I'm going to go on it. I'm going on a ship nerdy rant. Mm. They are like Vista class, which is the Nordam and the Eurodam. Eurodam is not Vista class. It's slightly Vista plus. Vista plus on steroids, isn't it? I haven't, I haven't really been on. I've been on a pair of class ship for a day, but I've not stayed on mm. one. You've stayed on it's, one. It's a lovely looking we're ship. We're hoping to get on... Conningsdam or something like that later yeah. this year so that we can try a pinnacle class but Absolutely. yeah generally do you have any tips for um if we have any tips for Holland America yeah just um <laughs> music you know go to the Rolling Stone Lounge um the uh doing pianos I can't remember what that's called just lots of music and um also di dining we really like the pinnacle grill and um on they don't have it on Nordam, but definitely on Eurodam and on the um, Pinnacle class ships like oh. Tamarind. Oh, Tamarind. Um, really Absolutely nice. Absolutely gorgeous restaurant. So some nice dining, but generally yeah. the food on, we, I mean, the food on Nordam was mm. excellent. Mm. Um, so yeah, so try some of the speciality dining mm -hmm. and yeah, make the most of the music. We love mm. the music on board. We do. Lots yeah. of fun. Okay. Can you read that? Or do I yeah. What is your favourite aspect of river cruising now that you've experienced several river cruises? That's a great um, question. That we again because we I think because we like small ship cruising generally. Oh carry on. <laughs> <laughs> um, we quite like river cruising in that yeah. it's small ship, so you know there's never you know you're never going to get more than a couple of hundred passengers mm. generally on a river cruise. So we like that aspect of it. We like the exploration involved in river cruising, yes. in that you usually dock you know ninety percent of the time you dock somewhere where you can just get off and wander into mm. a town or um and go exploring on your own and the excursions are usually included on river cruises which we like so you know it's not it's more about the travel than the ship isn't mm. it mm. which is something that we really enjoy so mm. i think that's the thing that we like about river cruising it just takes you to some different places mm. you can go and explore on your own um yeah mm. there's lots um, and, yeah. and countries you probably wouldn't ordinarily say, well, let's take a holiday to no. Romania or Bulgaria. You might not choose that, mm. but a river cruise sort of mm. takes you there. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Just one technical issue here. Matt's basis says keeps crashing. Oh, dear. And well, I hope, A, a I don't hope the ship doesn't crash. <laughs> and B, uh, this is the problem of us trying to stream live from a moving ship because it's now moving across from... Uh, I think Actually, we're going from Romania to Bulgaria, which yeah. is the other side of the river. So you've got Romania on one side of the river and Bulgaria on the other. The border runs and down I the middle of the Bulgaria river. Bulgaria has 5G. Yeah. We've still got 5G. <laughs> so, uh, yes, I apologise for that, Matt, profusely. We're trying our best in the face of adversity, yes. as they say. Oh, Ken goes cruising is on. Good evening, guy. Good evening, Ken. Ken's hope, coming on the Queen Hope you're well. Us. Yes, he is. Yes. They are coming on with the on our, on our main. Oh, there morning. we are. He's asking a question. Are we yes. having the drinks package on Queen Anne? Um, well, my my probably no. I don't really know much about it to be honest, no. Ken. We need to do a bit more delving into it, but I think it. I don't think it's particularly cheap. It's one of those ones that's mm, quite expensive. Yeah. So probably not because. <coughs> excuse me. Are you drinking it? Oh yeah, because we don't. I mean, it sounds like we drink a lot, but <laughs> we don't. <laughs> so we're actually. talking we're about quite drinking. Sensible. But we don't drink. We tend to get... probably don't drink enough to warrant. Having a drinks no, package. Certainly not on Cunard or PO or anything like that. We, no. we we tend to pay as you go on Cunard, we always have done. Yeah. So I think we'll probably, mm. yeah, just be um Yeah. Buying the odd cocktail in the Commodore Club and uh yeah, and yeah. doing yeah. it like that. But, but I don't know, I need to find out more about it. I to be honest, Ken, I haven't heard anything about 
how much the drinks packages are or anything. We probably need to do a bit of um, research into that. But when we get can't there. wait to meet you both when yes. we get on board. Yeah, no, really. Yeah, it'd be really good fun. Go and have it's some drinks be, with us. It's going to be a good uh, and If you're on a drinks package, maybe you can have some drinks. We'll have a single drink. <laughs> yeah. We'll just have a glass of water. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, let's keep going. Thank you ever so much, uh, people. For it's been a it's been a weird evening, and uh, <laughs> thank you for. Oh my giddy on. But um, stick with us, and thank you for sticking with us. And if you can give us a thumbs up, that would be great. That'd be great um, if you haven't already done so. Victoria said. If you could only sail on one ocean line forever, what would it be? Now, oh. you know what? It would be a toss-up for me. Well, I don't know. Oh, I don't different. know. That's a really a hard Really question. hard one there. That is a really hard question. Because if you like big ships, it's different to if you like small ships. Or if, you, so if one, you're in the mood for a big ship. One ocean line. So we're talking about a brand. Can you move between the brand? Well, so no, well, you, you can't say I want Carnival because then that, that, <laughs> that gives you Princess and Seaborn and Holland America. Aww. I I would pick, and personally, if money was no object. Yes. Okay. If money was no object, I would probably pick. Was I'd literally flip a coin between Regent and Silver Sea. Flip yeah. a coin. Yeah, I, I'd like. I would probably choose Regent, although I don't think my liver would thank me for it. Or my waistline, because no. the food and uh, drinks on And if there. you're talking larger ship lines, um, oh my goodness, there's, there's so much choice, that's the problem. I really I like, we, well, we like Princess, and we like, and we like <coughs> Excuse me. I think Hal, Hal has yep. some really nice Hal, ships. Celebrity. Um, yes, yeah, Celebrity. See, oh, yeah, there's so many, a I, that, is a, that is impossible. Yeah. Question Actually, sure. celebrities are really, but Absolutely then Asamara is really nice oh, as well. Oh my god, yeah, Asamara are good. Just do little Asamara ships, yeah. they're so cute. Everything's it's an impossible question. Can't answer that question. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to delete the question, Officer Shaw. Yeah, sorry, can't answer it's it. It's gone, it's, it's impossible. Gone. I couldn't do it, I just couldn't do it. <laughs> couldn't choose one. Ah, sorry. here's an interesting question. Um, which is the best cruising company for fitness? I really like what is being advertised from Explorer and Virgin. Thank you. Well, oh, Rich is the fitness guy because he he. I do like I do like the, the odd bit of I do like the odd bit of fitness. The gym on, on here is it's quite good surprisingly actually. large. It is. I mean, I don't. It's not. You don't think it's particularly well, it's lacking, well equipped. Well, it's lacking in resistance equipment. Yeah, that's all I would say. So um, you know, it could for the amount of space they've got, mm, they could have they could more have, equipment. They in could there. have a little bit more equipment. It's actually um, huge. Yeah. Or maybe they use the floor area for like Pilates and stuff. I think they do have like yoga classes mm. and things, so mm. maybe they hold them in there. But it's a, for, for a river ship, it's a large cruise. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. that's not answering the no. question. The question is, what's the best river cruising company for fitness? I would immediately say... Well, no, just pre cruising company. It hasn't got to be river cruising. No. Well, no, no, that's not what, that's not what they're asking. Okay, they're no, asking you what said cruising. river then. Oh, I'm sorry. That's Did right. I? Oh, it's fine, I'll let you off. I'm just trying very hard <laughs> not to call. So which one's got the best gym? You, uh, you and Mr. Jim? Virgin Voyages, without a doubt. Do you think so? Mm-hmm. More than Explorer? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Yep, Virgin Voyages. There's your answer. Um, although uh, the Cunard ship, any of the sort of large ships, MSC, they've all got fabulous gyms. Celebrity's got pretty good gyms Celebrity's got well. gyms. All the larger ships have got fabulous gyms. But yeah. one, of, one of the things that, one of the standouts was, was Virgin Voyages because they, they, they devote so much space to health and fitness and wellness, and I think that's a great thing. Yeah. So yeah, Virgin Voyages for you to see the world. Thank you for your question. Um, I don't go anywhere near the gym. I like a swimming pool. Dan and uh, Explorer do have a very nice swimming pool. They as do. Well. Yeah, so, it's yeah. lovely. Danny says, "I always end up going back to the Hal video where the violin play, people play Radiohead." Do you know, Danny? Thank you so much for that comment because. We don't get many comments on that. Oh, no. and, 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 it, uh, and, and it moves me. I love it. I think the Howl Stroke Lincoln Centre Stage partnership has come to a. Well, I think it's changed. I don't think it's come to an end. I think it's sort of right. formed into something where they don't do it so much in the little okay. Lincoln Centre stages. They do it on the main stage. Right. I think they still use. Lincoln Centre as a partnership, but they use more of this sort of moving well, image, it's like we, the BBC Sounds thing we, we, we saw. So we were on Nordam in 
February mm. last year, and then we were on Eurodam in August last year, mm. and they'd already done away with the Lincoln Centre stage. Oh, no, yeah, they, yeah, they had closed, specific, didn't they? Yeah, which very, was really very sad, because we used to like going yeah. and listening to the... It was a really good, yeah, good evening. Yeah, we used to really enjoy, and like you recorded the radio thing, mm. we used to just, it was usually like half an hour a day, um, mm. two or three times a day, and we'd just go along to one. It was just a really nice way to start an evening, mm. or go mm. just before you got ready for dinner or whatever. Mm. Um, and listen to some classic, and they were so talented, the musicians. Fantastic, there, weren't they? but Danny, I, I did two actually, and I haven't released the other one yet. And the other one was um, Eleanor Rigby by the Beatles. They'd, they'd done that. They'd done that in a um, bossa nova style. So they did a bossa nova Eleanor Rigby they by the Beatles. Amazing. They were incredible. Talented. But the the uh, I might release that at some point. But the and, and I actually released this one, the Radiohead one. Um, with the blessing of the people that were in it, mm. so I didn't. I didn't just go and say, no, no, "Here's no. what they did." They were very. I talented. actually asked them. There was four musicians, and I asked them all, and they said, "Yeah, yeah, please do." So it was at, at their blessing that I released it. Um, so yes, so. Uh, but like we say, good music on Hal, and and mm. you know there used to be a wide range of music, but um, perhaps less so now that the, mm. they've taken away Lincoln Centre stage stage. Mm. But. So Ken's just quickly come back with like the Queen Anne, seventy-two dollars per person per day. Wow! Now I don't know whether that includes the gratuity. I'm not entirely sure. So um, that's a lot. Isn't that it? is a lot. We couldn't drink that much. No, we don't drink that much, Ken. Unfortunately, one cocktail. No, fortunately, actually, one yeah, cocktail. But we tend to have one pre-dinner cocktail. We don't tend to drink until the evening, do we? No. Whereas lots of people drink all day. Yeah. We, and we don't drink particularly at lunchtime if it's not it, included. If, if it's, it's a glass included, of wine included, we might have we might, a glass of wine. But, but we don't have it. So we have a pre-dinner cocktail. We might have wine over dinner. We might have a post-dinner cocktail. I don't tend, tend, tend some, to drink after dinner. You might have sometimes one, but it, I don't. But that's it, really. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's not... We don't, we don't do we? No. It's definitely not $72 worth. Very, I, mean, I, mean, very, I know that includes maybe coffee and mm. stuff like that as well, but even so... But we very rarely wake up the next morning with a headache, do we? No. I think so I've done that, that once will... or twice. Mind you, I got so horribly, the to Ken's question... horribly destroyed on an Azamara once. <laughs> but that's another story. But we probably it was a messy story. won't be getting the drinks package if <laughs> no. it's that expensive. We probably won't. <laughs> no. Are best. you going to get one, Ken? Yeah. So There's the answer. You know, let us know if you uh, are. Yeah. No, I think that'll be quite a... Um, not very much drink consumed on that week. <laughs> if you're still with us, thank you very, very much. We've got a very kind of da low key live tonight. Well, in we your are, opinion, we are. Don't, you make me cough. <laughs> we are live from Romania, Bucharest, no less. In fact, actually, well, I think we might be in Bulgaria. This now. could be the world's first live stream that starts out live in Romania and ends up in. in Bulgaria. In Bulgaria by the yeah. end of the live stream. I think, so I think we could well be in Bulgaria by now. Gonna be live from both countries. Yeah. Wow. Now that's a first. That's gotta be a first. Um give us a thumbs up if it's a first. See that shilling for thumbs up, did you see that? You are well done. <laughs> yes. So let's have another question, shall we? Yes. Can Here you we read are. that? Uh, no, I'm going to read this one because it's, look, read it on this I bit here. Though. I can't even read it like okay, that. Okay, who do you think, in your view, river cruising is for? Do you think it's for someone who loves a more relaxing vacation or an ocean cruise and would enjoy a river cruise? Uh, oh, that's a good question. I would say, actually, yes and no. I think river cruising is very relaxing because they, the, for a start, you don't get any rough sea. Uh, you never get any choppiness. And you are, just, it's very serene. Okay, because you're always close to the shore, which is diff different to an ocean cruise. But also, river cruising can be extremely active as well. It's very action-packed. It's very action-packed. There's lots to do every day. Yeah. They've got bikes on board. There's, there's, there's it, Actually, there's there's quite a lot of activity to do, which yeah. differs from ocean cruising. Yeah, I mean, like most, most of the time, excursions are included on most river cruises. And, you know, there's usually a, an excursion to last you all day from morning mm. to, to evening. So mm. tomorrow, I think, actually tomorrow we're not starting till nine. That's quite a lane actually mm. for a river cruise, isn't it? But it is like a nine hour excursion. <coughs> so by the time we get back, 
it'll be dinner time um and then often it's a very early start so when we were in egypt when we're in india when you're in hot places they start very early and i mean mm. like seven seven thirty tours it's, there can be two three tours a day mm. so it is quite an intense mm. um itinerary i think mm. usually on a river cruise unless um you know i think Generally, on a river cruise, if you walked around the ship by about 10 o'clock, it would be pretty quiet, wouldn't mm. it? So um, people tend to go to bed quite early because, like I say, it's early morning mm. start. So, you know, if you want that sort of um, nightlife and that sort of thing, then it might not be for you. But mm. I think if you enjoy travel and enjoy seeing new places and going to new places... Um, then river cruising is a really good way to do it, mm. to see mm. some different places. Danny says, quickly, and that's for your next video. <laughs> so Eleanor Rigby, Boss and Over. Yeah. <laughs> I'll well, have to we'll dig see. that one up. We'll see. Well, no, I could probably get that one done quite You've quickly. You've got a list of ones to do. I know. Helen, uh, <coughs> she cracks her whip, I tell you. Yeah. Gary Pluck is with us. Hey, good evening. I'm talking very well. low-key, Gary. How with a happy hour cocktail? Well, there's no water left in no, it. No, there's no water in it. Uh, we haven't had a happy hour yet on uh, AMA uh, because we got on board quite late and they had a uh, captain's welcome. It was champagne. captain's cocktail, so <laughs> we all had cocktails. <coughs> Do you need to get some water? That's okay. Because now you're making me cough. <laughs> this Why is are we coughing into tonight? Is this, is this a Romanian <laughs> thing? Is it like the air quality or something? Yeah. Um, yeah, so we haven't had any sip and sail cocktails no. yet because it was um, everybody met in the lounge and there was this free flowing champagne this evening and most people were drinking champagne. So I'm sure sure we could have had a cocktail, mm. but we just stuck with the champagne to be quite honest because mm. we literally only just arrived really. So, but, but we'll um, let you know. I think I saw tomorrow on the list is a gin fizz tomorrow. Oh, I like is gin the fizz. cocktail of the day. So looking forward to trying Sounds that good to tomorrow. Me. So yeah, we'll let you know, Gary, how we get on with that. Gary said another one as well. Who does that? Who does the packing on trips and how far in advance do you pack? This is a great question because I can answer it really quickly. <laughs> Helen packs weeks in advance. I literally pack the morning when we leave. Well, no, normally you I have to, like, the day before we do to go <laughs> anywhere, I'll book an appointment with Rich and say, right, please, can I see you at such and such a time so we can do the packing? Because yeah. he always wants to put stuff in my case, normally his camera and that. And I'm like, you know, we'll, we will pack at five o'clock the day before we go, and that's packing time, so that I can make sure he actually does the packing and gives me what Honestly. I need to take. But I will have had like clothes laid out for mm. probably two weeks before that because I'll refine and refine and refine my packing. But yes, Richard does it very last minute. I, I apologize, it's always mayhem. But he does all the he does pack all the camera equipment. Yeah, and the tech equipment quite a lot. You do all the tech stuff, apart, so I must admit I don't have anything to do with that. I do carry it for him, but I don't really. And I have to be quite meticulous with that because if I miss the tiniest little thing that I need for a thing, very frustrating. Yeah. Isn't it? So uh, yes, Gary, uh, it's um, it's order and chaos. I think that's, <laughs> that should be our detective. Well, that's just life. Really. I think that's our detective <laughs> names. <laughs> hey, hey, my friends, are order. And I'm chaos. <laughs> that would be a really good thing. We should do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just a quick one, Norfolk boy, because we are running out of time, and I, do, I would like to quite, quite keep it if we can. Yes. I'm running out of. Um, but it's out late of voice here. Well. It's now um, eleven o'clock. It here, is. So yeah. If cruising never existed. What would be your ideal holiday? Norfolk Broads, obviously. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, do you know what? we love we love we'll have a caravan up hemsby <laughs> we love i think we must be like old before our times so i don't know maybe that's a bit mean maybe but we love an escorted tour we love like a coach tour. we also like a cottage in the lakes <laughs> <So sad. laughs> but yeah we do we also, we also <coughs> love yeah just i mean when the kids were little we used to love a cottage or like a mobile home on mm. the you know on the riviera or something Definitely. like that We've also so, been to Lake Garda, we've stopped in caravan parks, we've had tents, we've had caravans. Yeah. We've done all sorts. In fact, we could have had a general uh, mucking about YouTube channel where we had uh, tents, caravans. No, but in all seriousness, when the kids were little, we used to do a lot of like self-driving holidays. So we, um, you know, we used to go into Europe and mm. drive like long distances mm. and dot ourselves around. We've always liked being able to go to 
you know, lots of different places mm. in one holiday rather than just taking ourselves somewhere mm. and staying there for two weeks. We mm. like to move around and see different places, which is why I think cruising really suits us because we used to do that with our car. Mm. Um, you know, so when the kids were little, and that was what we did. So mm. I think, yeah, we just really like being mobile and moving around and seeing as much as we can in the short space of time that we've got. So we do, yeah, we do. I had one final. Uh, I was going to finish on a thing, and I've just we'll go I over a little bit. Cause we, oh, here we go because we started a bit yes. later. If, we, if you don't mind staying with us, we'll go over by five minutes. Five we'll minutes. Promise not to keep you too much more. Five minutes. Richard, uh, Matthew Richards, uh, good evening, Matthew. I heard about the fjords closing cruising due to emissions. Okay. What are your thoughts about it and what does it say about the future of cruising? Well, in my opinion is um, I think it's going to become tougher and tougher for larger cruise ships to go into these sort of places for the very reason you said about emissions and stuff like that. But the good news is I think everyone's working towards uh, net zero. And I know it's going to take a little while, but there are a number of cruise lines out there at the moment that are fabulous when it comes to um, their environmental policies and even how their ships uh, sail. So I think things like the fields will only let in, they'll have like a... Clean a, ship. A, a, yeah, they'll there only is let a, in there is a thing certification. That, yeah, there is a certificate, a green something that right. a lot of the cruise lines are well, working Ponnet towards. Just, yeah, Ponnet Ponnet just, are working towards it. it. MSC have just had the first net zero cruise, haven't they? Have they? So, so um, I, think it, I think it'll happen... And I think it's good for the future of cruising, actually, because no one wants a, two weeks on a really horrible, polluting ship. The only problem is a lot of the smaller cruise lines that have the older cruise ships mm. will suffer mm. from that, I think, Maybe. unfortunately, because, yeah. you know, they're just the, the older ships are just Too not expensive. as clean, are mm. they? Um, and some of those ships are really are the ships that we love. You know, we, we quite like the sort of mm. slightly older ships but it'll be interesting to watch and see mm. how that develops and i don't think it's going to kill off cruising no way i think the uh the ships will just get cleaner it's a bit like mm. emissions from the exhaust of your car you know people would 20 years ago would be like there's no way you're going to get them down and uh you know it just takes a little bit of time and and uh and it'll happen. So, but there yeah, are more very and more ships, that. aren't there? That's mm. the thing. There's mm. more and more ships. So, exactly. um, it's getting yeah busier exactly. and busier. The season season ports are getting busier and busier. So, um, I know Tahiti are doing have done something similar, haven't they? They've banned some uh, of the bigger Bora, Bora. ships. Yeah, yeah, Bora Bora have That's stopped it. people Bora, coming Bora, in. Sorry, yeah. And so, yeah, yeah. And uh, well, Venice have done it. Amsterdam yeah. have done it. Barcelona have now done it. There's there's lots, but. Mm. I still think it's a good thing because mm. I think it does focus the cruise companies' minds on cleaning up their act, and making <laughs> sure that you know we're not uh, polluting the the seas. Anyway, I think we've had enough for tonight. Okay. I think you've had enough viewers of me coughing and uh, <laughs> enough of the uh, thing keep cutting out. And I'm going to have to go and find you some water from I the water know, station down the down the corridor. We really appreciate you joining us tonight. I do apologise for the the outages that we've had and the late start, that was a really weird thing that happened with our timing on the software setup and on YouTube, actually. I think that's, that was the, the thing. But we will be live two weeks today mm. um, from our home, from the from studio. The HQ. So hopefully um, no, Perfect stream. Yeah, hopefully. no streaming issues or timing issues or scheduling issues or anything then. So we will be home then. And obviously we'll have been on here for a week. Yes. So We'll be able to answer any more questions that we have. Um, and, yeah, and please go and watch the second part of our Holland New Zealand um, vlog if you haven't already seen it. It was posted earlier today, so it's up live on the channel. And uh, hopefully we'll see you in a couple of weeks' time. Indeed. In fact, Warren has literally just joined us the minute <laughs> we're going to say goodbye. Hello, Warren. And goodbye, goodbye Warren. Warren. <laughs> and goodbye, everybody, everybody else.